compassion, and generosity. So I think when we have a world full of nuclear weapons, the idea that you can get mad as a man and go to war, that time has come to pass. Just too much. And I, for one, don't want to participate in that anymore. So please join me as we go inward and recognize that all of us come from this one source, this one presence. One power, unopposed and therefore unopposable, that's in a state of undisturbable peace and constantly creating new opportunities, new vehicles for knowing itself more and valuing love and joy and harmony and infinite, limitless power governed by love and law. And that describes us. Each of us is a direct expression of this one power. Each of us embodies the highest parts of the masculine and the feminine, both in our, in our own physical beings, in our DNA, in our chromosomes. It's all right there. We all start off as female in the womb. And then because of our humanness and our need for reproduction, some of us add another component, but it's available to all of us, and it's in all of us. So right here and right now, I feel a deep gratitude to the awareness, my awareness, our awareness of the value of the divine feminine. And recognizing that there is only gain to be had by allowing that nurturing, compassionate, empathic, intuitive part of our nature to flow forth as a preeminent value, not as a sideline, not as an afterthought, but as a premier value of our time here on earth. So I give thanks for this consciousness, thanks for this awareness, and I claim that each person here is going forth with a new awareness of what all this could be and can be and will be. So I do my part, I give thanks for it because I know the moment I've spoken my word, it's all been locked in with precision, backed up by a limitless power, and I agree to accept it, I give thanks, and I anchor it as together we say, yes. and so it is. Namaste.